request that the courtroom be closed to all spectators except close family members of the defendant who are already familiar with the material. Mr. Hughes? I have no objection to that. I do request that uh, close family members of the victim, namely Mr. Lang's sons, Jay and Stephen, be allowed to remain in the courtroom as long as it's closed. I have no objection to that. This relates to what we talked about in chambers? Yes, Your Honor. Due to the personal nature of the upcoming testimony, the courtroom will be cleared of all representatives of the media and all spectators not directly related to the defendant or to the victim in this case. Bailiff will clear the court as soon as possible so that we can proceed. What did Bob say when he left the office? Um, not very much. Uh, something, uh, he had to do something, and he took off in a hurry. He was very worried about it, though. Margo, hi, it's Kim. Listen, uh, I'm at Bob's office. I understand you just talked to him? Yeah, Duncan called here just after you left. He claims he has proof that links Tonio to Stenbeck. Oh, Lord. Sabrina. Yeah, I thought you and Bob would want to know right away so that you can talk to her and prepare her, so I called. Well, Susan's here. She says that Bob left the office right after he spoke to you, so I assume he's on his way to try to find Sabrina. But what about Tonio? Have you arrested him? Well, no, Kim. We can't act on this until we see what proof Duncan has, and he's on his way back from Scotland now. But, you know, don't worry about Tonio. You should find Sabrina. She's going to need your support. The thing is, Sabrina left a message for me at the studio saying that she and Tonio had canceled their dinner party tonight. I know, Tonio has some kind of a personal emergency and has to leave town, and Sabrina's going to go along with him. Do you suppose Tonio knows that he's in trouble, and, and that's what this is all about? I, I don't know. I don't know, Kim. Um, I will call Tonio's office and see if I can find out anything about this personal emergency, but what you and Bob should do is find Sabrina and stay with her. Well, I just filed the flight report, so we're ready to take off. Something must have happened to delay Mr. Reyes. There's but no hurry. I'm sure he'll be here any moment. Yeah, well, there's no hurry. Like I said, you know, it's pretty windy out there, so it might be better if we waited a while. Well, I'll be up front uh, monitoring the weather reports. All right, I'll let you know as soon as he's here. Sabrina? Tonio, I was beginning to worry. I was about to ring the penthouse. I'm sorry, I had a lot more to take care of than I realized. Mm. Uh, if the pilot's ready, I'd like to take off right away. about me soon, though. I'll try to phone Mother now. I'm sure she's back. Oh, you'd better wait until we're airborne, Sabrina. You're right, of course. Won't be long now. Oh, there's no answer to Tonio's apartment. I'm gonna try home. Kim, is something wrong? I'm afraid there's something terribly wrong. Is there anything I... Hey, John, listen, um, I'll talk to you before I leave, but I wanted to thank you for clearing the decks. Oh, yes, sure, all right. You better talk to Kim. I think she got some bad news. Kim? I can't talk, John. I've got to get home. What's the matter? I can't find Bob. I think something has happened to Sabrina. Maybe she's left a note at the well, house. Well, come along. You can explain in the car. your father was referring to when he wrote that your brother Barkley and your sister Angel might come to you with wild stories about him? No. But my sister Angel has had emotional problems for a long time since my mother died. 
And um, unfortunately, Barclay has had a long-standing drinking problem that uh, sometimes affects his perception of reality. But do you have any idea what your father meant specifically when he cautioned you about these wild stories they might tell you about him? No. All right. Mr. Lang, would you describe your father's relationship with your sister, Angel? He loved her very much. Um, she was his youngest and his only daughter. He gave her a great education, trips to Europe, uh, pretty much everything she wanted. Uh, he also left the bulk of his estate to her. Only the business itself went to my brother and myself. So would you characterize your father's relationship with your sister as extremely close? It was the sort of relationship that every father would hope to have with his daughter. So, you're telling the court you have no idea at all what kinds of stories your father feared your sister might tell you about. Objection. I think the witness has answered this question. Sustain. All right, Mr. Lang, did your brother Barkley ever come to you with stories that might be termed as wild about your father? Not that I recall. Then let me refresh your memory. Didn't you get into a fight, a physical fight, with your brother Barkley shortly after your father's death? Mr. Lang, I'm prepared to call a police officer who can testify to this. Yes. My brother Stephen and I had a quarrel with Barkley. Um, we all lost our temper. What was the fight about? As I just said, we were very upset about my father's death. Emotions were running high. Isn't it true, Mr. Lang, that you and your brother Stephen attacked your brother Barkley because he told you that there was something unnatural about your father's relationship with your sister Angel? I don't understand the question. Then let me be more specific. Did your brother Barkley tell you that your father was having an incestuous relationship with your sister? I'm sorry, miss, but the courtroom's closed. But I have to talk to the defense attorney. Miss Griffin, she's expecting word about an important witness. I'm sorry, I can't admit you, but if you'd like to write a note, I'll see that she gets it. Well, the rest of us are condemned to uh, dinner at Tonio's. Oh, uh, just look at it this way. I mean, we'll be there for the unveiling of Sabrina's portrait of Tonio. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to go bring my darts, too, and use it as a target. Oh, I'm sure that would really relax everybody. Maybe. Looks like we have the place all to ourselves. Yeah, we do. But then again, we had Ellen's place all to ourselves last night. Are you going to start this again with uh -huh. me? We had a lot of studying to do. Well, when school's out, it's going to be a very hot summer. Hey, Ma! Anybody home? Franny in here. Hi. 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 Hiya. Mom's not home yet. Okay. You looking forward to dinner? <laughs> Actually, Andy, <laughs> brace yourself, because I know you're going to be really disappointed about this, but it's called off. You're kidding. No. Why? I don't know. Sabrina called at the center when I was with the patient. She left a message that said... It was going to be postponed, so I don't know what that means. That's great, I think, because, I mean, they must have gotten a fight or something. I mean, maybe, maybe she's maybe she's finally seeing through this guy. Well, you know what? If she has, I think we should have a party and celebrate anyway, you know That's what I mean? That's great. Hey, by the way, did you get a chance to see Sean? Yeah, I did. We had breakfast, and then he took off for Des Moines, and I gave him your message and Good. said that you wished him well. Thanks. I appreciate it. Sure. So what's he going to do? going to stay in Zurich? <sighs> yeah. He asked me to come out, you know, for my summer break, but... I told him that I'm going to try to get my waitressing job back at the Yacht Club. 
that means you're going to be wearing that cute little that knit cute dress. Little Oh, that's right. Hey, Mom. Is your father of Sabrina here? Oh, no. No. Why? What's wrong? Well, I'm not sure, but Margot called your father's office a little while ago. She said that Duncan has proof that Tonio was definitely involved with James Stenbeck. Your father ran out of the office, and I assume that he is trying to find Sabrina. Um, I'll check her room. I haven't seen her. Did you guys talk to Sabrina at all today? No. She left a message at, at Franny's work saying that the party was called off. Yeah, I know. She, I got the same message, but I don't understand. Why hasn't Bob called me? Well, you know, if uh, Bob has explained to Sabrina the truth about Tony, I'm sure he's got his hands full dealing with her. Why don't I call Margo and see if she's heard anything more? Mom? There are lots of things missing from Sabrina's room, including her suitcase. I can't tell you how relieved I was to see you walk through that door. Sorry that I didn't call you, but after I hung up the phone with you, I haven't called me from her room. She just got out of the shower and found out that Angel was gone. What happened? She panicked. She went back to the convent. When she got there, one of the sisters told her that her brother Jay was looking for her. So luckily, she came back to the hotel. We figured that Jay would be looking for us, so we left that hotel. We went to another one down near the airport. I would have called, but she was in such a terrible state, and... Why is the courtroom closed? Well, I'm not sure exactly, but I do know that Jess was hoping to have it cleared if there was any testimony about Henry's abuse. Oh, let Andrew hear you say that. She's still right on the edge. Just see, I know my brothers are in there right now. I, I, I know it's all going to come out. Now, listen I'm, to me. Please, now, listen, Jay me. is probably still in North Carolina, and your brothers are in there. There's nothing to be afraid of, Angel. I have to... Holden, I, I think we should take her back to the farm. I need to stay here and talk to Jess after court recess. Holden, please, I just can't stay here any longer. I know what they're talking about me right now. They're talking about Daddy and me right now. Uh, Holden, I'll talk to Jess. I think maybe you better take Angel back to the farm. All right. All right, maybe that's best. I'll, I'll call you if, if I hear anything, all right? All right. Okay. Just come out to the farm when you're ready, okay? Okay. Hello, Lindy. In Atlanta. Yeah, I just got back. Nancy picked me up the airport. Hello, dear. How's the trial going? Oh, well, I just got here, so I'm not really sure. But they've closed the court. They've cleared it of all spectators. Well, that's strange. Why would they do that? And what position did Caleb Snyder hold at Lang Furniture? He was one of the foremen in our factory in Chicago. Will you tell the jury why your father fired him? Yes. Because he found out what kind of a scum he Objection. really was. Objection. Sustained. Mr. Lang, would you please refrain from these comments? Just answer the questions put to you. Please, will you tell the jury why your father fired Caleb Snyder? Because Snyder seduced my sister. She was a young and innocent girl. He didn't love her, but he knew that our family was wealthy. Objection. So when he got Objection. her pregnant, he took Mr. her to Lang, an you... abortionist to get an abortion. Okay. And, and when that, what that quack did to her, she was never able to have children anymore. And when my father found out, yeah, he fired him and told him never to come near Angel again. And it's taken all this time for that damn coward to get even with him. If you do not, I'll have you evicted from my home. Better having you here with me. Call an ambulance, Margo. 